in my experience, people want to want to try to get around network address translation. So if you have a virtual machine like VMware inside of a network, they have to get into that network and then they have to get into your own network because a virtual machine, at least VMware, um, is kind of like having a local network in a local network um, if you set it up a certain way. Um, but it, it really does depend on if you set it up a certain way. Um, but I think pretty much by default, it's set up a certain way. Where, with, with network address translation. So um, people, in my experience, have tried to get around that. And when this guy tried to trick me into doing port forwarding at my router, and probably at my modem too, I'm sure. Um, actually, I'm not sure, because it's been that long since I did it. Um, he tried to set me up, he tried to trick me into doing that because he was trying to get into my network. And then I was like, well, that doesn't make sense because of this. And he was like, oh yeah, but then you can catch hackers. And I was like, are you saying that you're gonna have a, like, um, another router inside or like with a firewall and um, you're gonna have like a, what is it, a DMZ right there? And like, are you gonna, like, what do you like? But he was trying to trick me into letting him into my network because sometimes mon monitoring your network is a lot of effort um, if you don't know what you're doing. And it's a lot of effort even if you do know what you're doing sometimes, but not really because it's so little traffic, but it's a lot of effort to set up. Um, so um, RVP, RVPN's usually better because usually people don't ever block VPN traffic at the router. So everyone else is right, but if you're doing super security, in my experience, people want you to have port forwarding um, at your router and modem because they want like you to be outward facing to the internet. So that way they can attack you from anywhere and they don't have to worry about breaking into your Wi-Fi. Um, but even if you break into Wi-Fi, you still have some, some issues sometimes, unless, it, it does, like you just really want to keep people out of your Wi-Fi. So my my philosophy on security is do defense, but um, it's but I mean I, I understand a lot of people's um, philosophy on security is do encryption, which it does make sense if you know where you're going, um, and that's why VPNs are awesome. Um, but I I don't know where I'm going, and I have to trust someone, so I trust the ISPs. Because um, I have to like eventually go to the network, right, or to the actual internet, right? Uh, and I, I think that a VPN server does go to the internet. So um, the, a lot of time when you order a VPN, you just get it on the internet. But some people set up their own VPNs, and setting up your own VPN can be really hard. Um, so all I'm saying is I think I'm wrong, but I'm right, but then I'm wrong, and I'm always wrong. And that's the thing about like when you people are trying to trick you, they're all, like you, you end up being wrong a lot and. I'm sorry for being super boring. Um, yeah, but I'm, I'm just saying I'm not actually wrong, but I am wrong.